Hello everyone, welcome to AWS SCS with the Boto3 Python tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can use Amazon simple email services with your Python Boto3 Python package. And uh, first of all, I have to give you an introduction about this SES. So this SES is a simple email service which enables you to send and receive emails using this reliable and scalable email platform provided by Amazon. All right, so what are other things which you can do here? Uh, the first of all, we are going to verify an email address and uh, thereafter you can also verify the domain identity and other things. So we'll moreover, we'll do this uh, verify email identities. Thereafter, we will process these lessons. All right, I, I mean, we will proceed to this lesson. All right, superb. So at this SES home, you have identity management. There at email address. So it will show you the total number of email, which is verified for your account. Do remember you can send emails from only those accounts which are already verified. All right, superb. So let's go ahead, uh, come back here. Thereafter, we are going to import our Boto3. So import Boto3. Thereafter, we are going to create a CS client there. So it's like this one, Boto3.client. Inside that, I'm gonna get it with the SES. Thereafter, we are gonna say here SES dot verify email address. And uh, there we have here this email address. All right. And there I'm going to verify here my email address like Udemy at the rate kgptalkie.com. All right. Superb. So this email is added in my account here. And if you refresh it, you should be able to see this email is added and it is not verified. And uh, AWS has sent an email to this email address. Now I need to open my Gmail. And of course, I mean this one, KGP Talkie email, email client, and then I have to verify it. How I can verify it? Uh, let me open and uh, show it to you. It's like this one. Uh, just a second, I'm opening it so that you can see it clearly. Where is this? Just a sec. Now, do you see there this Amazon Web Services email verified? It is just zero minutes ago. That's mean I had just received it. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Thereafter, it says that congratulations. Uh, this email is verified and now if you refresh it, you will see there a verification is done. All right. So green color, that's mean this one is enabled. Now we can send email from this email address. Now do remember once again, whenever you start using your SES management first time, your uh, SES services are in a sandbox. That's mean these are protected and uh, you cannot just start sending uh, bulk email to everyone. You have to get the permission from AWS. You want to send an email to everyone else. So they will verify that if they found that, okay, you are eligible, then they will verify your account and then you will be able to send these emails in bulk. Otherwise these emails are limited to only 200 emails per day. And it says that here, your account is in sandbox. All right. That's mean we have to uh, provide the information so that uh, we can uh, access this. So from there, if you provide these edit your account detail and uh, you want to enable it into a production access, select these for why, uh, for what purpose you want to enable it into a production. Thereafter, submit it for a review, then it will be submitted and then you can use it in production. Otherwise, in the sandbox, you will be able to use 200 emails per day. All right, superb. So you have got the introduction about the SES, how you can uh, send the emails, etc. Now let's go ahead and uh, 
verify we have already verified email actually let's go ahead and uh, list these email addresses which are already verified that's mean suppose that we do not have access to your console and uh, you want to get the information which emails are verified here so you can get those uh, information here So these email addresses which you want to verify, it's a simple SES dot list identities. And thereafter, you have to pass here what type of identity you want to verify here. So it's identity. All right. So I want to verify it uh, identity uh, type is equal to email address all right so it says that uh, oh sorry perhaps this one was a mistake all right so it says that there is only one email which is verified at my email address that's the udemy at the red kgp .com. otherwise if you have many emails verified then you should be getting here more number of results Super. So this is how you can list these emails. Now let's go ahead and see how you can create the email templates. So the email templates are like a template which you already have, I mean, which you create in advance before sending any emails. Thereafter, you can use those uh, templates to send your emails. So it's like this one, a CS dot create underscore sorry it's create underscore template thereafter you have here this template and uh, then you have this uh, template name and uh, template name I'm gonna say here the KGP talkie all right and in this I'm gonna say here the subject part for this particular template so the subject part for this one I'm gonna say here like this welcome on board thereafter I'm saying here the what is going to be the text part sorry thereafter I'm gonna say here what is going to be the HTML part All right, super. Let's go ahead and run this. It says that we have any error. Uh, let me see where this error is coming from. Uh, okay. Okay, I think these things are okay, perhaps. Uh, okay, all right. I think this one was error. All right. So it says that this template is uh, created and you can also verify this template. Uh, I think you should be able to see it from somewhere yeah there you have email template so the name of this email template is KGP talkie and here we are not able to see the details of this template you can get those details of a template from here so you can see here a sim c uh, sorry ses dot get underscore underscore template uh, sorry, uh, I have to also pass this template name uh, for which I want to get this detail. And it says that I want it for a KGP talkie. All right. Sorry, someone is uh, messaging me at my Slack. So I'm just going to close it. All right. So it says that this one is a template which we which we have uh, stored at our SES. All right. Superb. Now, if you want to get the list of all the templates, how you can get that? SES dot list underscore templates. 
And there you see we have only one template. It is named as KGP Talkie. Now do remember, I mean, you should not limit yourself by using only these of uh, uh, the usage of SES. If you type there SES tab, SES dot and tab, you should be able to see uh, this suggestion. All right. So you can try on yourself that how these suggestions are working. No issues. All right. Superb. Now we have reached at the stage where we want to send an email. All right. Send emails. Let's go ahead and start sending these emails. So the first of all, I'm saying here the SES dot send underscore templated email. You have here a source on which uh, from where we want to send our email. It's a KGP talkie.com. Thereafter, we have here the destination. All right. So in the destination, you can pass here uh, uh, the many email addresses like we have here the two addresses. So in this two address, we can pass it as a list. So there I have only the Udemy at the rate kgptalkie.com. But if you have many more, you can do that as well. Thereafter, this two address. I also have here the CC address. That's mean if you want to CC at the various other email addresses, you can do that one. So I want to CC it at uh, only this email address. So that's why it is uh, I, I'm putting these only. Thereafter, you can also add there a reply to address. So reply to address is something whenever someone tries to reply you, you can uh, uh, redirect to something else. So reply addresses, I'm going to also keep those reply addresses same. So it's the same address. Thereafter, it says that which template you want to send. So there I have a template. It's like uh, once you say, uh, set a template and you always want to send a same message to everyone and every time you can set that, uh, you, you can set that template. It's like if someone register on your uh, web blog and you want to send only one message that thanks a lot for registering on the web blog and uh, we'll be sending you updates. All right. Whenever we publish a new blog. So let's say this is only your message and you want to send it to everyone wh whoever register on your blog. So you can use this template method there. And I'm going to send here the KGP talkie template. And uh, then on this template data, uh, this is kind of the redundant. It says that uh, the template data, you can use here the any tag name which you want to do here. So the replace tag name. Thereafter. With values. All right. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. When I do this, it says that HTTPS status code is 200. And it seems I have just received a new message. I'll show you. All right, let me open it. Just a second. There you see. All right, so there you see it is just zero minutes ago received it. And uh, if you see there the wire message, it says that Amazon SES.com and uh, it is sent to Udemy at the rate kgptalkie.com and reply to email, to email, CC, all those things are added there. So this was a time timestamp when it is sent. All right, at my place, this one is local timestamp. I don't know what is here. So it seems that this timestamp is coming from GMT. All right. So uh, this timestamp and my timestamp is almost uh, uh, the five hour and 30 minutes different. All right. So this is how you can send email. And uh, this was the way you can send email, a template email, which we had already created. 
But suppose that you want to create an email, a new email every time, then how would you do that? All right. So to create a new email, uh, what you can do here, uh, you can write like this, ses dot send email like this. Thereafter, ses dot send email inside that you can pass these information first of all. So these are almost same. We don't need to change anything. So we have here a source, destination, reply to. The last part which we are going to add here, that is message. So that's mean the message which you want to send here. And then SES, that's mean AWS SES will automatically parse this message and will send, the, send it accordingly. So what information you need to include always in email, you need a subject and the body of your email. So the subject which we are going to use here, uh, this is going to be something like this. In the subject, we are going to pass here the data. I'm going to say here, you can pass your subject here. Thereafter, you have to also say that what is the character set on your subject? So I'm using here UTF-8 format, that is the ASCII character. Thereafter, this subject, you have to tell AWS that what is the body of your message. And in the body, we are going to say here the text body and HTML body. So you have to first tell what is going to be a text body here. So the text body is data. Uh, ah, sorry, this was I made by mistake. That's the date. So it's the data. And uh, inside this data, it should be like this. All right. So I'm going to say that this is your body message. And the same thing, I'm going to put this car set per. All right. You can simply copy it and paste it here. So we have got this information. So it's a uh, data. This is your body message, character set and all those information. So this was about the text data. Let's go ahead and add our HTML data. So it's HTML. All right. So in this HTML data, uh, I had just previously copied the same information we want to pass. Do remember the text data and the HTML those email clients who do not support the HTML, then the data is sent with the text data. Otherwise, uh, then this data is sent. All right. So you can also frame this data in the form of uh, HTML data as well. But uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm putting it like this is your message bo uh, body message for HTML, something like this. All right. Superb. So we have added everything. Let's go ahead and uh, send it. And it says that our uh, status code is 200. I have just received a new message. Okay. I have some private emails. That is why I'm hiding that while opening that new email. All right. Let me open it for you. So there you have. All right. So it says that you can pass your subject if you match what are the information we uh, sent here. You can pass your subject, etc. And it says that zero minutes ago, and this is your message body for HTML. I think I, I had written uh, the misspell this F O T perhaps. Yes. All right, and uh, it is being sent from Amazon uh, SES dot com, and uh, the email address which is used to send this message is uh, udemy at the rate kgptalkie.com. All right. And if you uh, saw these details, you will see these information which we sent early, which we set here, like the two, uh, two reply address and other things. All right. Perfect. Superb. So congratulations. You have set your SES services and you have sent an, a test email and these are pretty much a uh, small, concise, and uh, beautiful. I don't have words to say, actually. Thanks a lot for watching it, and please do like and subscribe this channel. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.